Hey guys, Chris here, and this is the first video of my vlog channel. So I went to Comic Con yesterday, and um, that's it's the first Comic Con I've ever been to. Um, I get to tick it off my bucket list. Yes, I do have a bucket list. How about do you, would you like me to read it to you? It's my bucket list. All right, bungee jump, skydiving, dress up as a superhero, and walk around the street for one night. I'm not crazy. Buy a replica Batman suit. I nearly got a replica rubber mask, but lost the opportunity to. Buy everything off the McDonald's menu. One day. Buy every Nintendo console ever made. Go to America, England, Canada, Italy, Mexico. That's, you know, go there. Uh, use a gun. I've never used a gun before. Uh, grow a full beard. Yes, I want to grow a huge beard, but just... You look at it and you die because it's so big and amazing. That's me. Meet the rock. I want to meet the rock. Pat a tiger. Get a comic book published. Uh, wear huge stilts. Jump off a roof onto the ground. Onto a trampoline. God, isn't that anyone's dream? Do a dolphin dive into something. That's, you know, grow a booby. It's a... Uh, the only one that's tick. Arm wrestle Chuck Norris. So that's my uh, little bucket list I got there. Um, I'll be sure to tell you guys if I write anything down, but as I was saying, this video is the first on my vlog channel. I already have eight subscribers. I haven't even posted a video yet, which is pretty good to me. Um, I'm going to be making videos every day for July, and big things are going to happen this month, like Spider-Man comes out this week. Um, of course, 18 days away from the greatest movie in the whole world. The Three Stooges. <laughs> the Dark Knight Rises, mother of And, um, so yeah, anyway, talking on to Comic-Con, that's a good segue. I got this at Comic-Con. I didn't know, I didn't know it was free or not. So I went up to the booth and I just grabbed it because I was like, oh, that looks so cool in my room. So I grabbed it and I was just looking at it and, um, dad wanted to walk off, but I was like, trying to stick around, just trying to slowly take this away because <laughs> Because I didn't know it was free or not. I don't want to pay for a thing this big. So I just stayed there, just flipping it like this, looking at it, and then slowly walked away, and guess what? It was free. So, <laughs> um, But anyway, um, people probably wanted to, know, uh, wanted to know what went down on Comic-Con, and um, there was a lot of cosplay. It was so fun. Like, it was, if you get a chance to go to a Comic-Con, go there. Um, we pre-bought our, ti uh, our tickets, that's probably the smartest thing to do because I heard stories that um, they weren't allowing people in that didn't um, have free tickets, but they did say you can buy tickets at the door, which I think, you know, was a little stupid on their part, but you know, they were really organized when we went. We just walked straight up there. We got a wristband ticket. Where is it? Uh, we got like a wristband thing. Um, and then you have to show the security and then you got in. Um, but as soon as we got in, we walked, turned left, we heard people cheering, we're like, oh, what's going on? Stan Lee happens to walk straight like this. He was this close from us. He was that close. He happens to walk straight past and I swear to God, he is the cutest old man I've ever seen. <laughs> After looking for ages, we just looked for ages. Sorry, that was the line on my computer screen. Uh, we looked for ages, just a different stuff. Um, then uh, I think we saw um, Jason Momoa or Carl Drogo's picture right there. Um, and then they said something about him doing a panel. Um, so we went into there to have a look what we was, what he was doing. I wish I stayed there for longer, but dad wanted to go have a look at other stuff. Um, my dad's a big fan of Star Trek and I wish we um, I wish we saw Patrick Stewart because he was there as well. Because I don't know, I reckon, I think dad would have made his day if he saw Patrick Stewart, but uh, we didn't get to see him which is a bad thing, but at least we got, um, he was, he, <laughs> he was nearly having a heart attack when he, uh, Stan Lee walked past us, he was like, did you get a photo of him, did you get a photo? I did, but it was of his back, I'll put it up there. Um, all the pictures I'll put at the end of this video as well. Anyway, we're walking past, um, there was people dressed as zombies walking around, um, it was for like some zombie, some zombie survival stunt thing, it was really weird, um, they were walking past and um, there, were, there was two chicks, one of them was really hot by the way. Um, one of them was chewing on a fake arm that kept on following me and dad. And um, there was another dude who was drooling. And I swear to god some of that drool hit my arm and I freaked the fuck out. <laughs> I didn't know what it was, it was fake drool or real, real drool but it, 
I tell you, if you get paid for drooling, sign me up. <laughs> um, but anyway, what I got, I didn't get much because I didn't know things were going to be that expensive. But there, there was some cheap things. Um, there was comics for like one dollar that I wish I got, but dad wanted to save money. So I was like, ah. yeah, next time, if they have it next year, um, I'm going to save up a bunch of cash. And if you live in Victoria, or you live near the Melbourne area, and you like comics and you're watching this, go to it. It's fun. It's everything um a lot of people are there but um it's good when they dress up because then you got something to look at you know <laughs> but yeah uh i'll show you what i got um they are energy drinks uh i won't open them i won't drink them um because there's no need to uh but there's a donkey kong one i thought that was freaking awesome because donkey kong is basically my favorite um Nintendo character essentially and uh, of course i had to get the man himself uh mario power up energy drink um, they're just freaking awesome, I think. And um, they were selling, they had a really good deal. They had these other ones. They had a Pac Man one. They had Duff Beer, and not actual beer, but you know. Um, they had Mega Man. They had, um, they just had a whole bunch of gaming energy drinks. And I wish I got more because they had a deal. I think it was three. Three for $8. No, well, yeah, three for $10, I'm pretty sure. Which I think is a pretty good deal considering how awesome they look. Like, the collector drinks, they're just so cool. Like, uh, the one that's holding my camera up, the Call of Duty V. I don't like Call of Duty, but it's a cool looking can, so I had to get it. Um, also, the main thing that I got, I could have got two, I should have got two. Um, I got them out of his packaging because I thought, I figured why not, it was like $15 uh, for a small figure as well, but. Um, this is Australia. We don't sell Mortal Kombat stuff regularly, uh, but they did. Um, but yeah, I got, uh, if you can see on the back there, there was Raiden. Raiden is probably my favorite character out of the ones that were there. There was Raiden, uh, Sub-Zero, and Scorpion. Um, but I didn't, I, if, like, if you don't know, if you're not a fan of Mortal Kombat, you know who Scorpion is, you know? Um, but yeah, I got a figurine of Scorpion. Um, pretty freaking awesome figurine. Uh, his arms move and stuff, and his legs, and it's just a cool looking, like, I don't know where to put it yet, like, that's Mario's shelf and that's a Batman shelf, I don't know where to put it, you know, and I want him to be in a good place where everyone can see him, because he looks freaking awesome, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, Scorpion for you. Pretty small, um, pretty awesome. <laughs> um, also, in that uh, in one video, god damn, he's about the same size as uh, my Dark Knight Rises Batman that I got a little while ago. Look how nerdy I am, showing figurines. And they're about the same size, so um, yeah, I figured why not. Batman's gonna go on that shelf over there. Don't know where Scorpion's gonna go, but he should go in a good place. So yeah, Comic Con was fun. You know, if I said it once, if you get the chance, go to it. So that's pretty much it for my first vlog. There'll be one out tomorrow, um, every day in July, excluding yesterday because yesterday was the first and I missed the chance. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked it. Um, subscribe and stuff. Uh, make sure you subscribe to Mega Amazing Chris as well because Cartwheel Party 3 will be coming out soon. I spoiled it. There you go. Um, and then Mega Singing, uh, Mega Sing Time Part 4, which I'm, uh, which I'm doing in public. So if you want to go check that out, go check that out. Um, my name's Chris and I'm awesome, that's all I have to say.